SVG's Jason Dackman. We're at the 2024 NAB show in Las Vegas. Grass Valley held the GV Forum the day before the show started, and then it's going to be very busy on the floor. We're very lucky to have uh, the CEO, Luis Hernandez, as well as Tim Banks uh, from Grass Valley. Tim, thanks so much. Luis, thanks so much for joining us. Really appreciate it, guys. So, Luis, let's start with you. Obviously, it's been a busy few years for Grass, not just in terms of technology, but in terms of the evolution of the company as a whole. Can you tell us a little bit about where your guys' strategy is at right now and, and what you're seeing in the market? Well, you know, we've been pursuing this uh, integrated, open, architected ecosystem that we've been building called Grass Valley Media Universe. I think we just eclipsed $350 million we spent on it, and it's really starting to accelerate. Last year, the company uh, completed its transformation kind of in Q2. We came out of last year accelerating pretty rapidly, and a lot of the early adopters are now live at significant volume with Tier 1 content, and that's just really busted open the doors on, on AMP and, and the media universe. And so today's audience here of a few hundred was an example of that, uh, wanted to talk about how people are using it, how they're saving money, and how they're shifting production and operating costs over to re new revenue streams and and uh, content production uh, to compete better. Sure. And we've seen, uh, you know, since the introduction of GV AMP uh, the, and the media universe, there has been this evolution for you guys. The market has certainly warmed up to the concept of, you know, more cloud-based workflows and the idea of a virtualized ecosystem. How have you guys, you know, continued to progress when it comes to, uh, you know, the, deploying these uh, in the real world? Well, I think, first of all, we have a number of case studies which Tim can go through, but the key is that, that the hardware has become firmware, so it extends the life of that hardware, allows us to get more value in our clients and lower the meeting costs. A lot of hardware announcements from Grass Valley, but it's really because the IP embedded is around that. And so that's just elongate makes makes that hardware more powerful. And then we have 180 native apps that we've launched. We're up to just over 100 integrated solutions from third parties. So AMP has really captured imagination. It's the biggest thing you heard today from the few hundred people is how much people are saving by using this shared ecosystem, shared platform uh, to, to cut down on integration costs and focus dollars more on the revenue producing areas. So we're excited about it. And, you know, this growth has is, is transitioned into our financial strength. You probably saw about the $220 million financing that we just completed that was off the strength of of, uh, of our growth and that allowed us to recapitalize the company, strengthen the balance sheet, put more dollars in place. So we, we're hiring, I think we have just over 100 open positions coming off the back of the 400 or so we've hired the last two years. Almost 60% uh, of our revenue now is from software. It's been a pretty big, dramatic change. But the most interesting thing is you see a lot of hardware announcements because if we have the hardware now, we plan on extending that. And uh, this is what the power of the platform does. Everything's, uh, we can be more agile at lower cost, and that benefits our clients. It's not moving just to software. It's a synergy between the two, for sure. No question about it. Tim, uh, again, Lewis had mentioned that there's plenty of real-world deployments. You know, it wasn't long ago where we were talking very abstractly about this. We were talking about AMP as a very early, you know, experimentation type thing. Not the case anymore. There are real-world deployments. Tell us a little bit about some of the things that are all going on in the market. Yeah, absolutely, Jason. I think the key thing is to consider AMP as a, an inclusive term rather than an exclusive term. It's really bringing together and integrating the full Grass Valley portfolio, but not only that, also the, the capabilities and the best of breed choices from across our alliance ecosystem too. Um, in terms of real world case studies, I mean, kind of some, some small local productions like the Olympics. Oh, tiny ones, tiny, tiny. Yeah, yeah like the Olympics, like the uh, like the Super Bowl. Sure. Super Bowl and well, the These Masters. are small community events. We should talk about the Masters this sure. weekend We're as here. well, right? Mm -hmm. So it really is, uh, as Lewis said, gathering speed, gathering traction, and it's across the board. It's the biggest mass audience events, ideally suited for primetime tier one content. But then in terms of really driving additional revenue streams, monetization of content, sports rights for the SVG community, it's not just that. It's tier one, tier two, tier three. But how do you drive operational efficiencies across the value chain? Sure. Absolutely. Um, and, you know, I'd be remiss if we are at NAB. I got to ask about products. We got to. I'm always curious about what I get to see at the booth this year. Cameras, switchers galore, I'm sure. 
Uh, what are a couple big things that uh, the sports market should be excited about this year? Um, so across the portfolio, Jason, really, it's difficult to choose just one or two. Um, but OK, you, you, you said it. Cameras. Let's start with the cameras. Um, so the latest LDX 135 um, and 150 advances. And it's really about supercharging and, and enabling the latest generation of remote production workloads. Again, it's all around efficiency uh, and maximizing the utilization. So the 135 RF with the integrated RF and 5G uh, bonded cellular connectivity that just um, streamlines that whole remote production workflow. Mm -hmm. um, and then in terms of switches, of course, um, K-Frame. K-Frame was used across all of the Super Bowl productions this year. Again, we're, we're tr tremendously proud um, of that heritage and legacy that we have in terms of really it being one of the core elements of the Grass Valley portfolio. So as well as the latest advances with K-Frame, um, we're also introducing a groundbreaking a software production platform called Maverick X. It would be wrong to kind of constrain it as a, a production switcher only. It really is a, a totally flexible, scalable um, live production solution. So yes, of course, it can go to any numbers of MEs, number of any any number of IOs. But because it's based on the AMP platform, you can bring in replay functionality. You can bring in audio mixing functionality. It really is a truly flexible, agile live production solution. Well, we're excited to check out the wireless cameras, the Maverick switcher, the big beast of the K-Frame switcher, and I imagine that there are literally dozens of other things at the booth. Very, very excited. Please stop by the booth. There's too many to mention. <laughs> we'll certainly be there. Well, you know, Tim, Lewis, obviously it's been quite a journey for you guys over the last few years at Grass Valley. It's very exciting to see some of the latest developments, and we really appreciate you taking the time to talk with us. Thank you. Pleasure. Yeah, thanks for the support. Yeah, absolutely. For more news from the NAB show in Las Vegas, stay tuned to sportsvideo.org and the SVG YouTube channel.